MCV Volume 1, Chapter 3 Review of Prerequisite Concepts and Skills In Chapter 1, we talk about limits and continuity. We focus on the instantaneous rate of change and we showed limit of f of a plus h minus f of a over h as h approaches zero is the same as instantaneous rate of change of the function f y equals f of x at x equals a. The slope of the tangent line and the instantaneous rate of change at x equals a are the same. The slope of the tangent line exists if the function is continuous at x equals a. In chapter 2, we develop the understanding of limit of f of x plus h minus f of x over h as h approaches 0. And we define it as derivative of f of x. We emphasized finding this limit is time consuming and hard. Therefore, we came up with some formulas. When we solved the problems, we solved so many problems related to the concept of instantaneous rate of change and the slope of the tangent line. What we need in chapter three is graphing polynomials and simple rational functions, working with circles in the standard position, solving polynomial equations, finding the equation of the tangents and normal, and we are going to use formulas such as circumference of a circle, area of a circle, cylinder, cube, sphere, for example, volume of a sphere is 4 over 3 pi r3 when r is the radius of the circle. Or volume of a cylinder is v equals pi r squared h when r is the radius of the base and h is the height. What we need in this chapter is working a little bit with inequalities and also knowing the graph of the basic functions. In some cases, we need to draw them. y equals x, y equals x to the power of 2, y equals absolute value of x, y equals square root of x, y equals 1 over x. It has a vertical and a horizontal asymptote x-axis and y-axis. x2 plus y2 equals r2 is the equation of a circle. The center of the circle is 0, 0 and the radius is r. We need to solve equations. In order to solve the equations, factor by grouping and factor theorem may be applicable. We also need to know how to solve an inequality. If it is a linear inequality, we simply isolate x. And if it is nonlinear, we use the sign chart to solve the inequality. Next sessions, we are going to solve questions from exercise on page. 90, uh, 116 and 117.
question number one, part D and F. Question number two, part F, G and H. Question number three, part A and C. Question number seven, part B and E. Question number eight, part E. And question number nine, part D and E. Question number nine related is related to a graphing calculator. We explain how to graph these functions. C, D and E. Thanks for watching.